All right, today we will look at how to pin and depin uh, Molex connectors. So these are kind of fairly standard, small, small gauge wire connectors. They have a, a detent pin here. You push down and you can release them. There's a male and female side, as with most connectors. And oftentimes these need to be depinned to run through um, bores, housings, electrical components, panels, however you feel the need to do it. Um, but in order to do that, um, you need access on that. These, these pins are a little bit, I'm sorry, the, the connector heads here are a little bit big. So, and this can be done in, in two pin. These are two pin, obviously, but there can be, uh, they go up to many, many pins. So there's not a specific size requirement. So in order to depin this one, um, I prefer to use on the, uh, on the female side here, I prefer to use a pick. It's like a small, you know, sharp ended pick. And generally what I do is try not to stab myself too aggressively, but is you, you hold this thing upside down and you push down on the back side of the pin here. And then at the same time, pull, try and pull the pin out. If you can get a grab on it with the other hand. So you push it down. And then um, it will come out if you can get a good grip. So you can see there. I'll try and do it again here with this other one. But so you pull it out, right? And that's how that looks. So um, do it again here. You push it in. You can kind of feel it go underneath there a little bit. And once it's underneath, you can kind of. Oops, see, didn't get it all the way. Um, once it's underneath, you can, you can do it. And so then once this is underneath, I'm having troubles with there. It goes, that's like that. But you can see here the, the retaining clip that was all off camera too. That was awesome. Um, this retaining clip, um, is what you're pushing down. So when you go to put them back together, you got to pull it back up. And that's difficult to show, but I kind of put the pick under there and I kind of roll the pick and it pulls the, it pulls the clip back up. And that way, when you go to snap it back in, um, which in whichever polarity you need it, I don't recall which is which here. This is usually right. But when you push it in, it'll click and it'll be nice and nice and firm. So let's try that one more time. So you push this in. And then once it's in, these wires are very slippery right now. Can't, can't get a hold of it. Um, there it goes. But generally, it's not it's not too tragic, especially if you have a large harness behind it to pull on or something. So that's how you do that one. That's the female side. So then the male side is a little bit more challenging. It does require a more of a special tool set like these fairly standard uh depending type tools and this one here is is obviously it's it's very thin even compared to a thin screwdriver it's it's thinner but the idea here is let's see if i can use this light that there is a square hole there you go, above the pin and that's the access hole that you stick the tool in to depress the clip so same concept we'll stick this diameter, which I've determined is correct, here into the, the hole above the pin. We'll push it in a tiny little bit. It's not much at all. And kind of angle it a little bit. And as you do, they come out. Though this one's actually easier than the other side, than the female side, when you have the correct tool. Um, so you can push it into the hole a tiny little bit, push down, and it it can come out. So that's how you can repin these things. Um, obviously, be very certain that when you're putting these things back together, that they're pinned out correctly. And obviously, that, that needs to be done carefully to make sure you don't make any assumptions. So in this case, what I tend to do, unless I've done a lot of them in a row, is keep note of the orientation and then put, uh, put the pins back in uh, so that the, all the colors match up properly. Um, 
And of course, if you're if you've done a lot of these, see, I didn't I didn't bend the pins back up, and you can see that this comes out easy. Now, so as a precaution or as a good practice, we'll bend the pins back up. If you can, hopefully, we can grab these. Bend that back up. We'll bend that back up, and then when we do this again, we line up our stuff. We can see the reds on the bottom. Click. Blacks on the top. Click. And then when we connect these two together, click. You're all set to go. And that's how you can do these. And these are these are really common for um, color changing lights on on uh, for retrofit headlights, all these kinds of things. But um, that's how you handle these. Most connectors are treated exactly the same as this. So you have to take care. The pins are very fragile. The connectors are not um, terribly robust. So you need to be very careful and you need to make sure that you don't pull on something unnecessarily. So these were um, these were slightly challenging on film, but not, not too bad at all. So uh, same concept with most most stuff. If it doesn't, if it doesn't go together nicely, uh, reconsider the approach and try again.